hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with my dress up darling episode number five reaction all right uh the previous episode um gojo kind of fell into a problem um, the first thing that happened is his grandfather got injured and that's why you know he has to go to the hospital and then back to uh, his cousin's house where his grandfather is staying for the time being and you know like go from, the, from there back home and he like you know he thinks he has like two weeks to complete everything and then after he goes to school he sees there's like tests he has to study for the tests he comes back and then he realizes like someone phone called him and is like yeah i need to like you know like you know, i want a tour of the like you know of, of your place of the different dolls i want to know about the hina dolls and he's like all right fine come in. like you know come next day and like so many things like you know like it's happening after and one after the other and he, he doesn't doesn't have enough time he's tired and it's just a mess completely he kind of shut himself down like you know trying to do everything on her on his own while um mine was thinking like okay like you know his grandfather is injured that's why he's probably going there you know so like it's like a miscommunication and yeah it was a complete like you know, everything was on him so by the time he was able to complete the dress and show it to marin marin is like wait a minute i'm not like, i'm not going to participate this time you know i thought it's going to take time that's why and go just like thank god like you know like i can at least do the finishing now properly and you know obviously mine kind of broke down because she thought that yeah like i i like, you know she thought it was like her fault she he was gojo was going through so many things but like you know because she told that yeah two weeks you know she thinks that yeah it's my fault that gojo misunderstood and all that stuff you know like so but like you know the the, the cosplay is ready and mine kind of wore it and it's look it, it looks fantastic you know just like how the anime looks like not anime sorry the eroge <laughs> <laughs> looks like that uh, character shizukutan she completely looks like that character and uh, yeah so i'm guessing after this we're probably going to go to some cosplay like you know to some convention or something i'm not sure let's see what happens and let's see how this proceeds so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number five of my dress up darling so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. All right, there she is. Hmm. <laughs> she, she looks unrecognizable. Completely. Yes, definitely. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hard to move around okay yeah makes sense and there's like a chain as well damn <laughs> yeah exactly um what's happening Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hmm. She's getting too much into it. <laughs> Sparkles in her eyes. Photos. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did it come out okay? Oh, okay. Why is he? <laughs> well 
Hmm. Oh, he's talking about professional pictures. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, how? Oh, damn. Um, no, no. <laughs> All right, mega serious. I think she needs a. Okay. Let's see if she can do it. All right, there you go. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Damn, Gozu can become a photographer as well. <coughs> well, calm down. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Hmm. Mama. Okay. Okay, let's see how much likes she get. Or I was thinking she was going to say this, but it didn't. Didn't he say that he did, needs to do some finishing or something? I was thinking like, uh, like now that the um, cosplay costume is ready, they could go, can't they? But Godo said something about some finishing or something. No, oh no, no, he said something. Okay, no. Okay, yeah, he did say something about kind of looking over it, like, you know, like a little finishing or something, but I don't think that's going to take much time. So, yeah, they'll be able to go. All right, let's watch the it's probably oh, okay <laughs> the title of this show is just <laughs> okay, they're here, oh damn, let me see if I can recognize oh goblins here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mommy Tan. La oh. <laughs> oh my god, he is <laughs> He's nervous. I can see oh my god. I think he is yeah, there you go. Too many people. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, and that as well. <laughs> well, because Marini is... looks perfect, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, uh, mm, okay, don't do it in public. Um, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Aren't there any male cosplayers here? I don't. <laughs> Van Vanessa. Oh. Okay. Yeah, obviously you're in cosplay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, going pretty well, but I feel like she's going to get uncomfortable by the. Because, you know, like, taking pictures, especially in these conventions... I don't know, let's see, because this is the first time she's... Okay, she, okay, she, it turned out well, there you go. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> Alright. Okay, everything went well. I was like thinking unnecessarily. Oh yeah. All right. Hmm. Oh, there you go, me. Oh, okay. Girls as guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, there you go. There are male cosplayers. I was... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm pretty sure she I'm No, I'm pretty sure she wants him to make more cosplay. I don't know, let's see. Oh well, I'm pretty sure she's going to say like, oh, when are we going to do the next one? <laughs> okay. What the? Wait, what? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. He was just trying to find where. She, okay. Ooh. 
Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh my god. Um <laughs> True. Yeah, it's true. It's like a hot day. Thicker fat. Oh. And no, I don't think like this is unavoidable. Like you know, like these amount of dresses. Okay. Did she bring any spare clothes or? Hmm. <laughs> um oh my god. Um okay, well I think okay, I think you should probably go what <laughs> Um, I think you should probably go to the washroom. Oh my god. Um, uh, um, please. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> I I don't think that's a good enough excuse, you know? <laughs> um <laughs> uh. Um Oh my god, this girl has no... <laughs> no, oh my god. Oh. Okay, you know what? I think she's so committed to her character, you know, the Eroge character, Shizgutan, that she's becoming like her completely. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. It's weird that no one has come here up until now. Like, no one's here. Um... <laughs> There's like disclaimers. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah, okay. Back to the plaza. All right. Oh, this girl she was talking with. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, oh, okay, that's why she was like, ah. Uh... <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no! Um... Oh my god! I've played enough aerobase to know what that- oh my god, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> this is those mar okay. Yeah, I should probably Hmm. She, he, he's thinking like, yeah, he, she's going to say something like, oh, okay, we had good, oh boy. Yeah, he's thinking that, yeah, like, this is the last time. But I'm pretty sure she's, she's good, uh, not she's good, sorry. Mine is going to say something like, oh, when are we doing the next one? Like, <laughs> I was just saying this. When are we going to do the next one? Obviously not. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, obviously. Hmm, maybe. Is he asleep? Yeah, my god, it's been a long day and... Yeah. Not only this day, he's been working for like three or four days. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Just sleep. <laughs> Leo Sama. <clears throat> oh, damn. Oh wait, he says, oh my god, yeah, he just, the previous day, <laughs> oh my god, yo, this is big, like, coming from him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> You're just sleeping. <laughs> oh wait, that's 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 the end. Oh. Uh, oh my god. Wow.
like nice happy ending i guess <laughs> for the first cosplay obviously there's like 50 more as she said <coughs> <coughs> Okay. I I have to say like the like okay, I'll talk about it later. <coughs> The most surprising part of this episode was the markings. I I really wasn't expecting that, you know. I <laughs> when she was talking about the markings, I was like, what is she talking about? Like what markings? And then when because of the you know like the wind, the skirt kind of lifted up, and I saw the markings, I was like, oh, so this is what she was talking about. Like <laughs> my god, like the commitment, like <laughs> those markings. God, all right. That's the end. All right. So this was episode five, and yes, uh, the cosplay convention complete. Uh... <coughs> right. So here in this episode, uh, we we kind of resume from the previous one where uh, she was trying on the clothes, and. <coughs> <coughs> She, she says like, okay, like now we have already like, you know, I've already worn the uh, dress. So let's take some pictures and Gojo, I think Gojo got a bit too serious. So while like, you know, taking the pictures, he kind of was a bit too much into <laughs> like, you know, the photographer role He's like, okay, another one, another one. Come on, <laughs> pose like this, pose like that, another one. <laughs> and uh, yeah okay now i was thinking they were going to like you know go to some i don't know professional studio or some place you know and then take uh, photographs and everything i was not expecting them just to take pictures here because i think i thought like uh, mine would do something like that you know like go to the uh, studio and then take proper photographs and then like you know uh post them but i guess like for the first time yeah it's it's like okay like you know like you can just do it <coughs> in your <coughs> In your own house in your own room but uh, if she gets famous you know after this you know like as a cosplayer um and you know a lot of people starts uh you know following her and everything she can uh i think she should probably like you know kind of go and take more professional pictures it's going to cost a lot I, yeah it's going to call like you know the the cost will kind of increase uh that's the thing but yeah like I, I guess like you know like she's doing this as a hobby like if she was like a like if she decided to become like a professional like you know kind of go and do this in a more professional manner and then i i would have said that yeah it would have been better in the studio but she's doing this as a hobby yeah she's doing, doing this for, for because she wants to do it so yeah she can like post like you know pictures and take pictures of whatever she wants to so yeah like okay i forgot i forgot about that for a second she's doing this because she wants to do it she's she wants to become the characters so yeah it's fine <laughs> but okay anyways um so <clears throat> okay so she makes like a new account and i don't like that was probably like an instagram account or something like that i guess <clears throat> and she is like okay I'll, I'll be posting my pictures here from now onwards then Shizuku, uh, uh, not Shizuku, I'm always mentioning, her, <laughs> calling her as Shizuku. Marin, Marin, <laughs> Marin is like, you know what, since we have enough time, why not we go to the convention? And, you know, like, because we have time, you know, like it, the, 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 the dress kind of came early because he completed it early. And <clears throat> I was also thinking about this and uh, yeah that's what they did they decided to go to the convention and uh, okay now she goes there she sees there's a lot of cosplayers and obviously cosplaying and everything <laughs> gojo's like gets a culture shock she, he's like what what has so many people now you know what i feel like this obviously this was not the actual i don't even know which like i'm guessing this was like a cosplay convention or something 
obviously this was not the comic cat or something like that like in in those like you know in, in the summer comic cat or in the winter comic cat it's intense like as far as as i've seen from anime because there's like huge lines with so many people it's like hot under the sun people just standing there you know like sweating and like it's intense it's intense like hats off to the people who have enough like you know determination and love to just keep standing there and like you know for like three to five hours just like you know so that they can get in and buy stuff and like you know kind of cosplay and everything like <coughs> hats off but obviously this is not something like that this was a, in a very small scale you know there's not enough like not much people even like this is just like a you know a, a place where there were pe people just gathering and i'm guessing this is like a random like, you know local cosplay convention or something not one of those big ones mm. so <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, so they come here and they kind of see you know, all the different characters and everyone's like looking at them. Now, this is the thing, Shizuku says that, oh, maybe they're looking at me. But Gojo says that, no, I think they're looking at me because I'm so odd out here, you know, like, just like standing here. Um, I think it was like a mixture of both because obviously her cos cosplay was really well done, professionally well made and uh, gojo obviously like you know, she's new to this place and with his you know normal clothing i think people kind of looked at both of them and it's just like you know staring at them that's why and uh, <clears throat> yeah and then like you know like this people started coming and like asking her for pictures now i was thinking something was going to go wrong here i don't know why but i thought like you know like because like you know like this is like the first time she is posing for pictures I don't know, I, I had a feeling that maybe she's going to get uncomfortable with it or something, you know, like, or maybe, uh, like, I don't know, like, you know, something, something wrong might happen here. But everything went pretty well, I have to say, like, I was pretty, I was surprised here, because I was not expecting everything going well, because this is the first time she's, like, you know, posing for pictures, like, in front of so many people. Uh, so, but yeah, everything went well, it's all well and good, I guess. And she even, like, you know, when all the people who were snapping picture, she was also like, oh, okay, let's take a selfie or something. And yeah, that was happening. And, like, you know, and <clears throat> like, quite a few people came to her and took pictures. Uh, and uh, yeah, it turned out pretty well. And Gojo all this time, like, you know, in, in, within all of these things, he was thinking like, oh, this is the final time. I'm not going to be able to, you know, make, like, you know, hang around with Marin anymore because this is the end. And <laughs> obviously he had no idea how many, like, you know, favorites we anime, uh, like, you know, fans have. Like, <laughs> like there's, there's multiple, there's like immense, a lot of them. You know, you, you cannot say that, oh, this one character, this is like this one character I like. You cannot say. There's like 50 or 100 of them for each and every one of us, you know? <laughs> like, in anime, there are a lot of favorites. And same thing with, like, you know, Marin as well. This was one of our favorites. So there's like 50 more of them. So... <laughs> Gojo had no idea. Gojo was like kind of just standing there in the in the hot sun, thinking like, "Oh my God, this is the final time." You know what? Yeah, I had enough fun. You know, it was nice hanging around with Marin, this and that, and just thinking weird stuff. <laughs> While Marin was probably thinking like, "You know what? What should I tell Gojo to? Do? <laughs> Which cosplay should I tell Gojo to do next?" Mine was, I'm pretty sure she was thinking something like that while Gojo was thinking so many things. He was just like, you know, getting ready to say the final goodbye. And my god. And even if, even if all the 50 cosplay, like, you know, characters that she loves are finished, she he finishes all of those dresses. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, she, even if she does not tell him to make more cosplay stuff, <clears throat> she's going to remain with him and keep being friends. Like, <clears throat> Hey, by that time, I'm pretty sure they'll become great friends. So <laughs> I don't think he needs to worry about that. <laughs> and and mine is obviously not a person like that, you know, who just hangs around with him because, uh, you know, like she, she wants him to do cosplay dresses. And when that ends, she's going to leave. No, obviously, she's not a person like that. We saw her up until now. She, she's a nice, she's a nice girl. So 
yeah okay so and then like problem strikes she's like oh like you know i kind of did a little adjustment to my dress and it's a bit stuffy you know <laughs> i need to go back change and uh, yeah they kind of go to the uh the staircase i think yeah and kind of sit down like have a little um uh, kind of drinks and everything to cool himself herself down and yeah it is hot like you know like it's so much dress and everything like you know the the thick dress and it's like in the hot sun so now here gojo realizes that he should have like you know bought a thinner clothing like you know not the thick mm, fabric that he got you know like and these are like you know you, you're going to make mistakes like this obviously and you're going to learn from it like this is the first time he's doing this obviously he won't understand like you know these things now that he like you know experienced this problem and he saw like you know mind kind of going through this problem next time he's going to like, you know change the fabric and he's going to learn from his mistakes and he's going to gradually improve and you know it, it's going to become more comfortable for marin to wear it another thing he said like you know like he always made clothes for dolls who do not move so this is also the first time he's making clothing for uh human beings who actually move and you also have to keep an eye out on like you know how you make the dress so it's comfortable to move all that stuff like he's learning all of that <clears throat> all right and then like you know, the fan service scene obviously that's definitely needed and like that oh my god i i sometimes i wonder like this girl i don't know why like she has no embarrassment she is not embarrassed at all at nothing like how can this be <laughs> how is this possible <laughs> you know but i guess uh, yeah and yeah after that like you know like she kind of the whole thing like you know she she kind of made uh, make adjustment to her dresses and everything and now here's the thing <laughs> she okay here i really did not understand in the beginning what she was talking about she she says like okay i went a bit too much into my character hmm, you know that's why i also made the markings and i, I don't know I, I did not understand at that moment what she was talking about i was like what is she talking about but later on i understood what she was actually talking about okay so everything's over here like you know they kind of come out the girl who she was talking with she's like okay like should we like you know uh like are you okay like should can we like take another picture in the shade she's because uh not she's a good mine is like okay yeah sure <laughs> they go to the shade takes the picture the wind blows the skirts kind of you know lifts up and there you go there's the markings now here's the thing if people who are watching this you don't know the meaning of the markings i would suggest you not to look into it <laughs> but basically it's 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 a thing in eroge you know people who play eroge nuki ge you're going you're going to understand what what that actually is and i'm pretty sure more, i'm sure a lot of people definitely like you know plays eroge and yeah so I'm pretty sure those people understood what that was. If you didn't understand and no need to get more into it. It's it's like a thing in oh my god. Like yeah, like I don't even want to mention what it is. But yeah, it is something um pretty hardcore. So no need to get into that. Just ignore it if you don't understand what it is. Like my god, I was not expecting something like this in this show, like you know, like <laughs> and mine got so much into the cosplay that she even like did the markings like apps off like you know <laughs> i have to say ah uh, okay so <laughs> like my god you know what i'm really glad that a show like this actually ha like you know exists like the my dress up darling which actually goes into more intricacies of aerogaze aerogaze and visual novels like you know like i feel like visual novels and aerogaze are too uh what do you call it you know like underrated you know like there's not enough uh people who play erogaze or play uh, like uh, visual novels because as i said i kind of mentioned this in one of my previous videos as well before like i enjoy visual novels a lot more than anime because visual novels goes into the depths of things 
anime it's nice to watch, like you know uh, see the animations and stuff it's great but i feel like visual novels are able to capture the depth of a story and you kind of completely get submerged into the story when you read a visual novel and i feel like that's amazing all the animes that i've watched which has visual novels i'll i'll probably give the visual novels like a 10 out of 10 while the anime a 5 out of 10 because it's never possible for an anime to completely adapt a visual novel the visual novels goes into such depths that's why i am you know i'm, I'm, I'm like visual novels are one of the best things like at least for me it's like it's like amazing and i'm really glad that they are actually like and this is like an anime which kind of goes into more into the visual novels and eroge department because the main girl here <laughs> marin she is a huge fan of eroges and visual novels as well which which kind of like you know uh, like you know shows like you know and, and i'm pretty sure in the future as well we're going to see more of these things you know like more of the visual novels stuff and eroge stuff like, you know like all the cosplays and everything all these like you know these <laughs> inside um nuances that like that like that marking and everything <laughs> all those stuff so i'm glad that like, like you know like this show actually focuses on visual novels and everything so it's kind of unique <clears throat> but anyways uh, okay yeah that's that okay and then they are going back home and just like you know gojo and she's like talking and gojo's thinking like oh this is the final you know <laughs> like after this she's going to like you know <laughs> not talk to me or something like that she was thinking but mine is like okay so that was the first one uh what should you do about the second one <laughs> gojo's like what second one what's that <laughs> and she's like oh you don't know like my best favorite characters uh, there's like 50 of them oh my god and gojo's like all right <laughs> yeah this this is this is continue and he's happy about that obviously because she she like you know she not she sorry he he enjoys her company and he enjoys like you know uh, talking with her and hanging out with her so <laughs> yeah and then he kind of goes to sleep and here's where the big thing happens he i don't know what he was probably like looking in like a trance or something it's like seeing like you know that that scene from uh, when she was cosplaying and he said something like oh you looked beautiful as shizukutan and mine was like wait a minute didn't he just say a few days ago that i don't throw out the word word beautiful just like that so this is something which actually like you know holds emotional nostalgic and a lot of like you know emotions for her this world beautiful word beautiful like you know it's like it, it implies a lot of things and for him it's like it's like like a thing that he rarely even tells people and it's like a special thing so him actually saying that to her like she realized that what it meant <laughs> and she started blushing like obviously like what else should it <laughs> could she have done in that situation <laughs> like because he himself said like you know when she's uh, mine that in the previous episode said something like oh look at these cosplayers so they're so beautiful aren't they and he himself said that nah like i i usually don't throw out the word beautifully that casually because it actually like holds a special meaning for me you know like the special meaning of when i like you know watched a hina doll for the first time the emotion that i felt that was beautiful you know and i you know like I, I that's like special thing for me and i don't usually use that word much that's why and this really like you know this like and this this implies that you know that 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 emotion that she felt when he first saw the hina doll and we've always 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 seen his passion towards hina doll you know how much he he loves all of that uh, the hina dolls and uh, like you know like making stuff for the hina dolls like you know and uh, painting them and everything how much he he enjoys he's passionate about it Marin also knows that and the emotion that you know like he has actually uh, what can i say like saved for you know like the hina dolls only that is the word beautiful he actually used it used it to mention marin as well this implies a lot you know this this actually like in, it's like a huge thing i guess so for marin and she realized that at that moment she's like Oh, the the word that she, he, he the kind of the special word, beautiful, 
that he only refers to the his Hina dolls with, he actually told that to me. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure if he was actually like awake at that moment, he wouldn't definitely say that. Obviously, he wouldn't say that. But since he was like, you know, in this weird, you know, like half sleep, half awake state, you know, in a trance kind of thing. And he was like, you know, seeing the random weird dreams and everything. He actually said that. That's why. Like, and I doubt he'll remember that. I doubt that. Like, so what's basically going to happen is mine is going to remember that. He won't. I'm pretty sure of it. He definitely won't. After he wakes up, he'll probably, like, you know, wouldn't understand what he said or what he did. And he wouldn't realize that. And I'm pretty sure mine won't say anything about this. So, <laughs> so mine is only going to remember this. And yeah, that's what's going to happen. And she won't be able to tell that to Gojo. You know, because embarrassment. <laughs> so yeah, and that was the uh, that was it. That was uh, it for this episode. Uh, yeah, fantastic episode, great, and I'm I'm really looking forward to what new cosplay he's going to make. And I I, I think he's probably going to make you know all the different dresses that we saw in the opening. I'm I'm thinking like maybe he's going to do all of them. Uh, I think so. But there were a lot of dresses, so I wonder. This is the fifth episode, so uh, five, uh, six or seven ep more episodes more, I think, for this season. So, so will he be able to do so many dresses within these few episodes, or maybe in the future season or something, he's going to do more? But I'm sure he's going to do more of those dresses. Otherwise, why are those like you know, like those dresses are being shown in the opening? I'm pretty sure they're going, he's going to make them in the future. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, that's it. So that was my reaction to episode number five. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of My Dress Up Darling. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.